The Obamacare hearings began today at the United States Supreme Court, and they continue through part of this week. We're going to be talking about today on Faith and Freedom. I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action. Today was a historic day because it begins the first of six hours of oral argument at the United States Supreme Court. It continues on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then um, we anticipate a decision by the Supreme Court by the end of June, which is the end of the term on Obamacare. So this is a an incredible week, a very important issue before the United States Supreme Court. Yeah, and uh, I typically the Supreme Court justices, they hold their cards pretty, pretty close to their vest, but it's interesting that they're uh, uh, scheduling six hours of debate. Uh, that's the, the longest uh, t- amount of time they've allotted in over 40 years on, on any given case, so it shows that they're taking this very serious. That's right. I mean, usually it's an hour with 30 minutes per side, and now it's six hours, essentially three hours for each side on these issues, and there's various components uh, that the Supreme Court will be looking at. Liberty Council, of course, back in 2010, over uh, two years ago, we filed a federal lawsuit on March the 23rd, the very day that President Obama signed Obamacare into law, the very first lawsuit filed by a private organization. Liberty Council represents Liberty University versus Geithner. We also represent two other private individuals who do not want to have insurance. Now, in our original lawsuit, we claimed back then what people are just now claiming or discovering. First of all, we claimed that it violated religious freedom right? uh, because it interfered with both the individual's religious freedom, not to want to fund abortion, and Liberty University or other religiously affiliated organizations, not to want to provide abortion coverage through their funding. The Department of Justice said, oh, well, that was kind of overplayed. That's, uh, you know, we don't really know if it's going to be a funding of abortion or not. We also said that it would be the largest funding of abortion in American history. And we specifically said that each person would be uh, charged $1 in addition to all the other mandates to fund abortion, and that it would be the first time in history that there would be a direct requirement for a taxpayer to fund abortion. And now, of course, we see that that has come to pass with the HHS mandate with both the requirement that employers provide abortion coverage and also the requirement that individuals have to pay a dollar that goes directly into abortion. It's not some general tax that goes into, say, Medicare or Medicaid, and then from that, someone might have a doctor's visit for a heart or an abortion. This dollar goes directly from the taxpayer, directly into a pool that directly funds abortion. There's no middle person. There's no dilution with any other uh, pot of money. We have said over and over again, and we were called alarmists for doing so, that Obamacare expressly forces every single taxpaying American to contribute, to, to become complicit in the sin of abortion by paying for abortion. Now through this final rule, that's what they're calling uh, these things that they're dumping on, on Friday afternoons, hoping they'll get lost in the, in the, the weekend and that the news won't pounce. Uh, that, that was one of the recent Friday rules saying that, yes, every single American has to pay $1 a month out of their to go into this abortion kitty. So there's no question about it. Taxpayer funding for abortion is with uh, in Obamacare, as we've always said. The, the, another Friday dump that came out just a little over a week ago uh, says that you, you, you'll recall the big flap with the Catholic Church and with evangelicals and saying uh, you can't compel employers to, to purchase insurance policies that cover these procedures that our sincerely held religious beliefs are, are opposed to. That and, and with the Catholic Church, for instance, providing contraception and sterilization and so forth, I mean, that is a doctrine, a doctrinally fundamental. That is off limits, period. Yet they have said it's going to happen now. Now, uh, they have come out and said schools like Liberty University uh, that self-insure and other Catholic schools, Christian schools around the country will also have to pay for uh, these abortive patients and for sterilization and for birth control and so forth for their students as well as their faculty and staff. And this was the latest uh, uh, dump. The the infringements upon our First Amendment religious freedoms uh, continue to Amount. Yeah, and in addition to that, uh, another mandate that came out is that all college age students, whether they're in college or whether they're college age, will be provided free uh, contraception, yeah. 
free sterilization and free abortifacients, which are the morning after pill, the Ella and the Plan B or others that actually act after uh, in some cases – the fertilization has taken place. So these are abortifacients. These are abortion-inducing drugs. These are chemical abortions. So if you're college age or in college, then you will be provided this, quote-unquote, free. free. Now, who yeah, pays right. for that? Someone pays for of that. Of course. And obviously, it's the employers that pay for it, and it's the taxpayers that pay for it. Nothing is free. Uh, and it comes directly from the funding of individuals, the taxes that individuals will pay. Uh, directly going to abortion and from religiously affiliated and religiously uh, oriented organizations like Liberty University and other institutions as well. It's a cynical uh, attempt to dupe uh, the masses who are outraged over this uh, trampling of the Constitution and the First Amendment. It's a, well, I've called it a South Side Chicago shell game. They're, they're moving it around, wink, wink, nod, nod. Uh, your premiums won't be used to pay for, for insurance company Christian or for, for these procedures, Christian in schools, wink, wink, nod, nod. Well, you think they're going to lower the premiums? You think they're going to exclude the amounts? A and B, the federal government has no authority to force a, a private insurance company to pro provide free anything. This is all a, a smoke and mirrors. Well, in fact, uh, what this is is a real uh, takeover of uh, individual liberty by the federal bureaucrats, and it is a remodeling of our constitutional principles. It is a rearrangement of the relationship between the federal government and the states and a fundamental rearrangement between the federal bureaucrats and individual liberty, particularly with regards to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness that the declaration declares. Um, this uh, Obamacare legislation, if it's not struck down by the United States Supreme Court, will ultimately mm -hmm have a, an incredibly bad precedent that allows uh, huge power grabs, not just in this medical insurance itch, uh, issue, but in every place else. What I'm amazed about, and, and Obama always, um, he always amazes me, but then he doesn't amaze me. And, and the administration, I would have thought, would have held some of these cards until mm -hmm. after the Supreme Court issued yeah. the decision in June. But no, on the eve of the oral arguments, they begin to drop these individual mandates, mandates that we said were coming. Yeah. We briefed these things <laughs> two years ago. And two years ago uh, – Which they adamantly denied. Right. And, and two years ago, Judge Moon in Lynchburg, Virginia said there's no evidence that Obamacare <laughs> is going to require funding of abortion. Well, there was evidence. We briefed it. I argued it at the federal and district court. And now it's court. irrefutable. And now it's irrefutable. It it's done. And it is part of Obamacare. Yeah, it's done. And it's being released and revealed on the eve of these arguments that take place this week. There is nothing coy about uh, this administration. Yeah. It is an in-your-face kind of situation, and they're very bold about it. Well, President Obama has been bold about this. We need to forget uh, – I mean we need to remember that during the campaign, he made it very clear that it may take five years, ten years, but we're going to get to a single-payer health care system, a, a socialist system of health care that will provide free – Everything, of course, nothing in the, in, in the world is free. This Obamacare is an attempt. They've set it up with a number of poison pills in, uh, in attempting to break the private insurance industry completely so that the only thing left, uh, the shell that remains, will be filled with a single-payer socialized medicine, a uh, system of socialized medicine. Well, Liberty Council, in fact, uh, I was able to have the privilege of arguing at the district court, the Court of Appeals, and then we also petitioned the U.S. Supreme Court. Our case is pending at the U.S. Supreme Court. The outcome, of course, is dependent upon the arguments that take place this week and the ultimate decision by the justices. By the end of this week, the justices will meet and they will ultimately vote on which way they go on this case. And then the writing will begin. An opinion will be released uh, later uh, this uh, year in the end of June. Now, we have also filed two briefs at the United States Supreme Court on this important issue. So you can go to Liberty Council's website and look at our press releases at lc.org. You can sign up for our Liberty Alert and our Liberator newsletter to get more information there as well. You can also sign up for our Grassfire Action email right there on the webpage at lc.org. And then also to help support Liberty Council, which provides all of this work at no cost to our clients – 
You can help support us and find good information by ordering this book called Resurgent. It's by Ken Blackwell and Ken Klukowski. Uh, Resurgent is a good book, and I encourage you to read it. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. You can order Resurgent right there on the web. You can also give an extra contribution to Liberty Council.